you just are kind of for the virtualization bits I'm guessing you know you're just kind of on your own <laughs> yeah it's not it, really tied into Intune but yeah, you get them right it's not integrated into the servers but we would actually um, in a um, hardware and software inventory component Windows Intune will actually let you know if the PC that you manage is actually a virtual machine or not so even though all the components of the desktop optimization pack are not integrated into Windows Intune for the virtualization space will let you know whether the machine is a virtual one or not. That's cool. Management yeah. of virtual and yeah. physical. That's yep. nice. We'll nice. manage them. You can manage them the same way. There's no... That's uh, good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, one of the things that I find interesting is uh, what's behind the scenes. You know, yeah. being the IT guy, I mean, for, for small and medium businesses or whatever, they, they probably don't care. They just want to make yeah. it work, right? Yeah. But for me, I, you know, I'm a little interested in what's What's behind the scenes? Yeah. You know, you you got a lot of in infrastructure, I'm sure, up in yeah. the cloud. Could you sh tell us a little more about what that looks like? Sure, um, I can do that. We use a lot of Microsoft technology um, in there, and you know, I can share, um, draw a chart so you can see sure. some of the components. That sounds good. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. So, um, ask the question: What's involved? Right. We obviously have some client software that talks to all the backend service servers in the cloud. On the client side, we actually use the Windows Update agent to communicate to the um, cloud, you know, securely to download updates, you know, to report status backup. We also include some policy, a policy platform or component over here that helps enforce some of the policies for setting your firewall policy and keeping the PC secure. We use the... And that, um, that then ties into group policy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it interrupts with group policy. So if your organization has actually specified group policies for particular settings that are coming from Windows Intune, Windows Intune wouldn't override them. So your group policy um, portions will win. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a client-side extension that's underneath group policy. Okay. Yeah, it's... It's not a client side extent. One of the things that my team owns also is group policy infrastructure. Oh, uh, okay. We're actually looking at what are the next, what's the next evolution of that group policy infrastructure. So okay. this then interoperates with it, but it's not technically group okay. policy itself. Um, we also use the operations manager, um, system center operations manager um, agent. Is that R, is the, the SCOM 2007 R2? Yeah, okay. it's the R2 version. And we use that to be able to monitor events on the servers. Is the machine run out of this space? Is there some problem with the PC? We use that on there. Um, we also use, as I mentioned earlier, the Microsoft anti-malware engine. It's the same engine used by Forefront Endpoint Protection, Microsoft Security Essentials to do uh, malware protection pieces um, there. Um, we use the uh, Microsoft Easy Assist tool set. It's built on live meeting that is used to do our remote assistance capabilities so that an end user can request help from the IT admin wherever they are. They don't need to be on a corporate network or pick up a phone. Um, so, so those are the main client components. In the cloud, we use the core database is SQL 2008. Um, it uses the, it's all multi-tenant, we designed it to be multi-tenant, so customer data is separated, so, so it's a multi-tenant infrastructure in the end. Um, we, you know, have it load balanced, mirrored, so it scales, you know, and it's redundant, so on the corporate there's redundancy and scale. And we have the backend also designed in a way that it actually works in across geographically. So we have geoscale built into the service so we can support customers all over the world. So that's also another principle that we have in there. Now, obviously the question, obvious question of cloud services that you get is, okay, security, what's going to happen? You know, yeah. is it secure, is it private, etc. So from a framework perspective, the client talking to the service is a secure channel. Is that over SSL? Yeah, or? it's over SSL. Okay. And we use the Windows Communication um, Foundation framework on this side to um, broker the web services that the client talks to. So it's very secure uh, because 
we know security is critical in an online service um, for trust. Also, I can, as on the multi-tenant aspect, all the customer data is siloed, so there's privacy is maintained mm -hmm. in the data. So you, you know, one customer um, data kind of be seen in another customer's account. So that's one piece. So privacy is a big thing there. And um, what else? We monitor this infrastructure using, you know, the System Center Operations Manager tool. So the synthetic transactions that are there, we use that for our monitoring components in the back end. The also, server side. The right? server side back yep. end also. So um, the WCF that I mentioned is all, you know, so it's .NET, you know, infrastructure mm -hmm. on the server side. Um, the captures. Most at a high level, it's on the components in there, right? Uh, um, so, do you guys use uh, Azure for the web end? No, so, right now we are not using Windows Azure for the web end or uh, the back end of the service because when we started a project, you know, Windows Azure hasn't been um, was not ready yet, hadn't been released yet. So, it, over time, I see as you know, looking at how we can use Windows Azure because part of Microsoft strategy is all to move to Windows Azure over time. Um, the last piece I should have probably mentioned is on the cloud. In terms of the ad administrative experience, we actually use Silverlight. So Silverlight. So it's nice, rich, fast, lightweight, and it works in you know all browsers that support Silverlight. So that's something that helps us achieve some of our manage anywhere um, scenario. So is the is that policy platform that you have there to push out your, your policies on the machines, is that tied in with the operations manager agent? So, no, it's not tied in, but it's a common policy and platform that actually is also being used in the system center configuration manager product. So they have a notion of um, desired configuration management where you can do a get of policies on a PC and in you know in their next version they're coming out they'll be talk they'll provide a way to be able to set policies. It uses the same um, policy platform. So that's sort of the piece that earlier question I talked about system center. We're sharing a lot of common technology between the products to make that work. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time. This has been really interesting. Yeah. Thank you. And you know, in try out Windows in Tune. We think it would help you know reduce some of the time and you know energy you spend managing PCs and you know. Try it out, get to our forums, and you know if you have questions, post it there and we'll respond to them.